Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm making three easy Dollar Tree ribbon wreaths. Enjoy! For this wreath I'm using a foam wreath form. Then I'm using two rolls of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. This is the one with the lace. So pretty. Then I'm uh, using a little bit of jute cord and something to cover the green on the wreath so you can use anything from felt to fabric to whatever you have on hand just to lighten it up if you don't have anything white then i would cover it with burlap maybe another roll of this first i'm going to take the jute cord and i'm going to cut it into 12 inch strips and you're going to need 12 of these leo <laughs> next you're going to take your ribbon over here and i like to cut just a little bit because usually it's frayed just a little bit and it's kind of uneven and maybe the metal is coming out so i just like to trim it this you're going to be trimming down to 18 inches let me just move this so you can see this part and so 18 inches right there and you should have six bows so that's why you're going to use two rolls of this ribbon and all together you're going to have 12 bows and it's just enough and you could see that literally it's like that this frame part is basically the leftover and where it's folded I'm just going to nicely straighten this out to make these simple bows, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that they're all even. And the way we do this is, here's my bow, and I'm going to twist it just like this. Here's my ribbon, and I'm twisting it. And when I do that, I'm going to find where I have three here. So I have one to three inches, one to three inches. And I'm going to basically, there's my tail, okay? So this way you just find the top, bring it in, and then here we're going to fold it in half towards the inside, and then take these sides and we're going to find our halfway mark and fold them out. Now we're taking our pieces of jute cord, finding the middle, and I'm just squishing this in and tying it in the back. Let's do this again. Here's our ribbon. We're going to twist it just like that and then when I did I'm looking for three inches from here and three inches from here on the inside on this inside find my center bring it down flip it over fold it in half and then fold these sides in half then we're going to grab our jute cord wrap it around and when you squeeze this together that's when it's going to get all cute and I'm just going to just squeeze it squeeze it down kind of there you go and double knot it in the back so it stays nice and secure at the end you're going to end up having beautiful bows just like this and I'm just grabbing my fabric and I'm just going to hot glue it in place. So I made my strips about inch and a half. You can make it to two inches. Now that I covered the wreath, I'm going to start taking my beautiful bows and just tying them to the back of the wreath. And I'm just overlapping. I have all my bows on but because this is a jute cord this will have the tendency to maybe get loose and even though I tied it and everything so just for security I'm going to put a like a dab of hot glue literally like a tiny little dab right there so it stays in place 
And before you start hot gluing everything, just make sure your uh, bows are spaced out nicely. And mine ended up being about one and a half to two inches. And you're all done. To hang the wreath, I'm just going to grab another piece of jute cord and just tie it to the wreath form. Today's Wreath Wednesday, I'm collaborating with my friend Donna from Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. She does some amazing and super cute DIYs, including gnomes, boho, nature inspired, and she has some fun craft room organization videos. Please visit her channel, let her know I sent you. Her information will be in the description box below. For this wreath, you're going to need two things, some leftover ribbon or ribbon from the Dollar Tree like I have, and a wreath form. I'll be using these three colors, and that's it. We're going to get started. I like to start with the darker color, and especially because I'm not going to be covering the wreath form because we're using green, and it's so close to the color that it'll blend in nicely. And for this particular project, I like to cut my ribbon into 11 inch strips. So just measure your 11 inches and I just fold it like this. And now I'm going to just go ahead and make all these strips. So first I started with one roll each, except this, this is about roll and a half because um, there was not much left in the roll, the first roll that I started to cut up. All right, I'm going to start with the darker color. Um, and then usually I end either with the lightest color or the prettiest ribbon. And in this case, I'm going to end with the lemon one. So I'm going to do green, then white, then lemon all i'm doing here is grabbing each one of the ribbon and then double tying a knot and i'm just making sure that it's kind of even on my wreath that's why i'm doing it this way and especially if you're using leftover ribbon you want to try to make sure that that ribbon is spread throughout the wreath evenly okay now it's starting to get in my way so i'm just going to move all of them to the side and as the wreath fills up, these guys are going to come up. So don't worry about the fact that they're not looking that nice right now. Now moving on to the white. I want to do the lemon one just to see how it all is going to look. I think it's going to look beautiful. We can add overlay on top as much as we want. All right, I got some good news. I only used four rolls of this grow grain ribbon. And so I used one full roll of the green, one full roll of the white, and two full rolls of the little lemon printed one. Okay, to hang the wreath, I just cut off a strip that's about 12 inches. You could do it less, you could do it more. I'm going to tie it like I tied before, but I'm going to have one of the ends longer the longer end is going to go in the front and it's going to go like this so i can uh, just glue it in the back it's beautiful it's shabby i think this turned out so super cute just make sure all those knots are kind of like on the same level where you want them to be I'm just kind of folding to make sure everything's at that level.
All right, you guys, this is going to be a fun one. You need four of these bows from the Dollar Tree. And the reason I went with the green was that's because the only color that had four packs, they had some beautiful, like, iridescent purple and pinkish kind of oh so many gorgeous gorgeous ones but i am going to go with this one um and so i got four packs of that then i got a foam wreath from the dollar tree some uh wire and this is uh, also floral wire from the dollar tree and some wire cutters because we're dealing with a lot of curlies over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark four corners. Each of the four have three of these and I wanna make sure that I space them out evenly. All right, let's do the wires. We're going to cut the wires into eight inch strips. All right, I have 12 pieces of the wire. And I'm just going to put a wire through where the center is, then remove, and then just remove this. And then just tie it really nice and tight. And I'm going to end up doing this to all of these little bundles. Finding my center, grabbing that wire, removing. and just tying it up nice and tight. I'm going to make all these little bundles and I'll be right back. Now I'm just going to go around and three per section, just tying it in the back. I tied a long piece of wire once again and what I'm going to do is grab my bundles we know that they are in half find our half again and I'm going to start looping kind of like two-thirds in so that we have nice curls here and curls at the end and on the next one we're going to take this next one find the half on here found my half and I'm going to take one-third and I'm going to put a wire around it and two thirds we're going to leave curly and puffy. And so we're not moving and dancing. I am going to start hot gluing the ones that I already looped in place. And I'm hot gluing the, the center of them and just spreading the little curls around. This is so much fun. All right, so right here I have basically almost half of it done and it's starting to form. I know on camera it's not turning out so nice, but these are very iridescent. I wish you could see. They're very iridescent and they look so, so pretty. All right, I'm going to finish up the whole thing and then I will be right back. Okay, so I decided to use this Surf and Turf uh, sign I know it's very hard to tell on camera but this thing is blue with like green little accents and it matches the little you know the curls so it will work it basically kind of looks like kind of seafoam I don't know I'm thinking very rough waters over here and there's this little crab so I kind of try to stretch where um where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to turn it upside down to mark where I need to uh, attach my little, there you go, my little pipe cleaners. All right, if you watched any of my wreaths, I care about the back as much as I care about the front. And so I'm just grabbing some felt from the Dollar Tree and it's this bright green. And the reason I'm doing felt is because felt, you can kind of move around and stretch around. And I'm just going to hot glue it straight in place. Hide all the wires and hot glue in place, but I'm going to first uh, put this in. 
We're gonna get this all fluffy later. Right now, let's just take care of the back and I'm basically just going to start hot gluing this in place. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making all these wreaths. Let me know down below which one was your favorite.